Hi. I'm certified nutritionist Mira Calton. And I'm Dr. Jason Calton. Together with the founders of Calton Nutrition and the authors of Rich Food, Poor Food, and Naked Calories. We are also the columnists for First for Women magazine. We answer your nutritional questions in every Worry Solve column. And then every Monday, we'll post a more in-depth answer to one of the questions that you would ask, and we're going to feature it right here in video. So let's just jump right in and get started. Today's question comes from the September 2nd issue of First for Women magazine. It reads, should I supplement with vitamin K? I read an article in First about the benefits of vitamin K. I want those perks, but K isn't in my multi. I eat leafy greens daily. Will that help me get all the K necessary? Well, wow. first, great question. Like we said in the article, Vitamin K has great benefits. It can lower the risk of heart disease by 57%. Very impressive. <laughs> it can also cut the risk of hip fractures by 65% and reduce the appearance of varicose veins. Which a lot of us would love to have happen. <laughs> it's oh, We also told you in the cow how, unfortunately, most people just don't get enough in their diets, even if you juice or eat a lot of green leafy vegetables. Right. Now, we know a lot about vitamin K because when I had my advanced osteoporosis and we were trying to reverse it, we did a lot of research on it. Right. So the review, there's two types of vitamin K. Leafy green vegetables deliver vitamin K1. That's the first type. However, K1 doesn't convert well to vitamin K2, right. uh, the more readily available form in the body. So, And this actually slows down as you age, too, the ability to convert vitamin K1 to K2. So it's imperative that you take a vitamin K2 either in your food or in your supplement. Yeah, and vitamin K2 is really important for your bones. I can't stress this enough. We all have been hearing a lot about calcification of the arteries, possibly when you take calcium supplements. Well, that might just be due to a lack of vitamin K. You see, vitamin K2 acts like a director, and it says to calcium, go out of the arteries and hit your mark in the bones. Doesn't that make sense? Right, and it's exactly what most people don't quite understand about how calcium is actually utilized in the body. So where can you find vitamin K2? Well, K2 is in meats, it's also in fermented foods, but a really great source is Gouda cheese. Which I love. Amazingly, <laughs> eating just 3.5 ounces a day gives you the RDI of vitamin K2. However, if you don't want to eat cheese every day for the rest of your life, then we suggest a simpler approach, which is supplementation. So what you want to find is a supplement that adds both K1 and K2 to your multivitamin. Right. Now, we use our patented multivitamin nutrients because it contains both of those K1 and K2, along with all the vitamin D and boron and magnesium and the plethora of other micronutrients that you need to keep your body working strong. And you only have to take two great tasting beverages daily. Right. Well, that's vitamin K in a nutshell. Don't forget to hit subscribe on YouTube so that you don't miss any of these future worry solve questions. Like this video and share it to help us spread the nutritional knowledge. Knowledge. If you keep the fabulous questions coming in, we promise to keep supplying you with great answers. See you soon. See you soon.